Hey, everybody. It's me, Nancy Norbeck, the host of Follow Your Curiosity. And this is the second in this new series of little bite-sized episodes that are meant to address a particular creative block or idea or question from you, whatever's come up recently. Um, and they're, they're just little creative pep talks. And they're very off the cuff, as you can probably already tell. And I, I just wanted to, you know, throw some things out there to help you start to see your process a little bit differently and to maybe even to see yourself as a creative person differently. We talked last time about how everybody's creative, whether they think they are or not. And that if you think you're not, you've probably been told that by someone who may not have meant to lie to you, but did. And so today, what I want to talk about is the idea of permission. Permission is super important. And it's such an easy, easy thing to overlook. When I first heard someone, when I was an adult, not a kid, say to me, you know, it sounds like you need to give yourself permission to do something. I thought it was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever heard. I'm an adult, right? Who's standing in my way? I get to decide what I want to do. Well, here's the truth of it. A lot of us forget that. And I think it probably comes from the fact that when we're kids, we get conditioned to ask permission all the time, which is what you need to do when you're a kid, because you may not have the best judgment yet for what is safe to do, what, you know, is within your grasp, what is legal, <laughs> depending on what it is. If you're chasing your neighbor's dog all the time and harassing them, mom and dad may need to tell you not to do that. But when we're adults, we don't need that kind of permission anymore. Only we're so conditioned to believe that we do. And we're still conditioned to it by the way that workplaces work. Because <laughs> most of us are not at the top of that food chain. And therefore, you know, we're still asking for permission and approval from other people, even when we're adults. We don't realize how much that need for permission sits in the back of our heads and tells us, oh, gee, I don't know if you should do that. I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that. You know, maybe I, I might get in trouble if I do that. So what kind of things do we tend to need permission for? Permission to try something new. Permission to go a little bit bigger than we've always been told we're allowed to be. Permission to just be ourselves. Permission to be bad at something. Right? Everything in our culture tells us that we have to be good at things all the time, that if we're not good at them, we shouldn't bother to do them. There are, you know, entire TV shows, American Idol, I'm looking at you, that make money off of embarrassing people who aren't good enough to be on their show, which is part of why I have big issues with shows like that. You have permission to try. You have permission to explore, to follow the things that you are curious about the things that you want to do more about, the things that you dream about. But the thing is, even I can't really give you that permission. And I know this is the part that's going to frustrate you because I know how much it has frustrated me to hear it from other people over the years. But you need to give yourself that permission. You need to decide that you are worth it. It's your life. You only get one that we know of for sure. Do you want to do your thing or do you want to find yourself at the end of it wishing you had and kicking yourself really hard because you didn't? So here's my suggestion for you. Figure out where you might not feel like you have permission to do something. And if you stop and think about it, I think you'll figure it out more quickly than you might realize when you first hear this idea. Figure out where you feel like you need that permission where you'd feel so much better if mom and dad said, yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. You should go do that. You totally have our permission to go and to be a success. And that might be where you need the permission too. And make yourself a permission slip. Just like the ones that mom and dad used to sign for you to go on the field trip when you were in school. Make yourself a permission slip. It can be super simple. You can write it by hand. You can type it up and print it out. If you want, decorate the heck out of it. Make it cute and quirky. Do whatever feels right to you with it. But it doesn't need to be anything other than words on a page that says, dear me, I have permission to fill in the blank. 
and you can add to it. I have permission to be great at it. I have permission to be terrible at it when I start because I'm a total beginner. And I have permission to get better over time. And I have permission to respect myself for putting in the effort to get better over time. Whatever comes to mind, it's going to be different for everybody. So I can't give you a one size fits all permission slip, but make yourself that permission slip, sign it, date it, and hang it someplace where you'll see it. Whether it's on a kitchen cabinet, on your bathroom mirror, wherever you will see it and read it to yourself. You're going to sound crazy to yourself the first couple times you do it, but who cares? This is about you, not anybody else. And frankly, if somebody else is standing in your bathroom listening to you read the thing, that may be a different issue. (laughs) But read it to yourself. Remind yourself that you have permission. And I will bet you that even if right now, if it's safe for you to close your eyes right now and to tell yourself, I have permission to fill in the blank and notice how it feels in your body when you tell yourself that it's okay to do that. Take a minute. And just notice how that feels. Because it should feel really, really good. That's what you're going for. You want that really good feeling. You want the confidence that says, yeah, you know what? It's okay for me to do this. I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to play bigger. I'm allowed to try learning to play the timpani. I am allowed to try rock climbing. Make sure you're safe if you try the rock climbing. (laughs) But you are allowed to try it. You are allowed to be bad at it. You are allowed to fall on your face the first time you do it. Again, be careful if it's rock climbing. But just go for it. Let yourself try it. It will be so freeing and you'll feel so much better about yourself. This is where creativity builds things like joy and confidence. So go make yourself a permission slip. See what happens. If you want, send me an email about it and tell me. I would love to hear your stories. I also would love to hear your questions. And again, if this gets you started on a journey and you feel like you could use some backup, I do take private clients and I'm accepting them right now. So nancy at fycuriosity.com is the best way to find me for any of those things. But most of all, I want you to go try this. I want you to see how it feels and how it changes your week. And let me know. Post it on Instagram. Find me on Twitter. Send me a message. Whatever works for you. So you're allowed. Go prove it to yourself. See you next time.